Hey everyone, this is Jason Edelman in part two of the introduction to NX API series. In the first video, we looked at a short example on running show version against NX API, returning, getting return data, and converting XML to Python dictionary, and then parsing that data and understanding how to access the key value pairs stored in the return data. Okay, in this video. I want to show how to actually get the modules that I used. The first is called XML to dict, and the second one is called it's called device. And XML to dict is off the shelf, and device is something that you know I built personally just as a as a um, you know small helper to get started with NX API. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is navigate to my personal GitHub page. And this is GitHub.com/slash JEdelman8 slash NX API intro. So here. There's three files. One is a README, which just shows again the same example on, on how to use and how to use the device module. And the device module calls NX API. So you will need both of these files. Okay. So the first thing you'll want to do is come back to the terminal and make sure you have git installed on your machine. So you can do sudo app get install git. I already have it installed, so we're all good there. Okay, the next thing we'll want to do is create a new directory called test, navigate to the directory, and do a git clone. Come back to the GitHub page, and in the bottom right, we'll see this clone URL. Right click that, copy it, paste it in the terminal. And this just clones the full repo to our local virtual machine. So if we navigate, we'll do an ls first. We see that it downloaded the repository and then in the directory. That's the same as the re repository name, so it's NX API intro. Navigate there. We'll just clear this to clean this up. Do an ls. We now have the three files, device, NX API, and README, that existed on GitHub. So that git clone downloaded all three required files. Okay. Now the next thing we have to do is get XML to dict. You can browse to python.org. You can download this here if you wanted to download the tarball. And then, and untar that if you wish, and then do the manual setup. Or if we scroll down, we can see an easier way to install this. We can just use pip to install XML to dict. So we're going to take the easy way out here. We're going to open up a new terminal. And we're going to do sudo pip install XML to dict. Now I already have this installed, so this won't install here. As you can see, I already have this. If I want to force it, I can do dash dash upgrade. So the nice thing is this now installed XML to dict on your machine. Okay, so now you have all the required files. Now, based on the Python path of your machine, you will likely have to be in the NX API intro directory for now to use the device module. Okay, an NX API module for that matter. So what this means is for this to work on your machine, again, for now, you'll have to enter the Python shell from being in the NX API dash intro directory. Okay. XML to dict will work anywhere. That's going into the standard directory where Python modules are, are, are stored. Now, um, if you want to modify the Python path of your machine, you can make it so you can enter the Python shell or write, you know, store your scripts anywhere, but we're going to save that for another video. Again, I'll reiterate that one more time is you just downloaded two different modules. One is called device.py, one is called XML to dict. Because your Python path hasn't been changed yet, you'll have to enter the Python shell or store your Python scripts locally in the NX API dash intro directory. Otherwise, you'll have to, again, change your Python path. Um, you can do an export from the terminal session here and change your bash RC file to make sure it's persistent across terminal sessions and reboots and so forth. Hope this helps. Any questions, feel free to comment below the video or comment on my personal blog. All right, thanks for watching.